Yeah. So this next thing, man, we, we, I'm going to say is, and it might start making some people mad, man. I got a real Ooh. interesting conversation. Uh, I mean, you brought it up to me, actually. So if you yes, would like to explain I, that. I, I would love to explain Now I'll tell you topic, what we call sir. Man. So as I've said multiple times, I'm a new shooter. I, I got a few hundred rounds under my belt. And I'm just learning. I'm practicing. And, and, you know, one of the things I like to do is I like to research. Mm-hmm. So I like to, you know, know what's out there and know what my options are, knowing what's available to me. But then when you see, like, certain areas and stuff, mm-hmm. you, you see, like, people that are dressed like, you know, they're, they're going to war tomorrow. Like, and you, you know, you've been deployed. So... Mm-hmm you you've had to wear the shit and you know you had to wear it to save your behind so to keep you protected very uncomfortable oh i bet and that's heavy and so i don't know um and what i'll equate it to is uh motorcycling Mm -hmm. so and motorcycles motorcycles wear gear and i'm I'm gonna kind of draw the line is we wear you know you wear helmets jackets jeans boots gloves all that good stuff or some people don't wear anything you know, dad was t-shirt, bandana, <laughs> and some fingerless gloves, and he was ready to go yep, in his Jordans. <laughs> in his Jordans. Gotta have them Jordans. Jordans. <laughs> and hit them right. pipes. Right. But see me, I mean, I wear riding jeans, I wear a jacket, a helmet, gloves. So I, you know, if something happens, I, I'm mitigating my risk a little bit. But you got other folks that are like in full leathers like they racing in you know moto gp they got the the doggone uh airbag vest the fifteen hundred dollar helmet and they riding the starbucks <laughs> <laughs> so i you say looking like a hell's to, angels to go get you a, a pumpkin spice latte no, <laughs> you looking like no, you looking <laughs> like a racer to go get a damn frappuccino it is, <laughs> is what it is man so, so so i mean I understand, like, some people are just, they take it to the umpteenth level to where it's like, you know, there is a chance that should such and such happen, you know, I'll be prepared. And I respect that. And I realize that, you know, there, there's some spectrum. So what I was asking you about is, you know, how much shit is too much? Because, I mean, I will see people with, like, the knee pads on. They wearing, you know, tactical sneakers every day. They got the 511 jeans. They got the Maxpedition wallet. They got plate carriers. They got mag carriers. And they go into Walmart. Uh, and I'm just like, what in the hell is going on? Hey, and it gets get dangerous in the frozen goods. <laughs> I don't... And, and, I'm, I thought I'd ask you because, I mean, you've been carrying for a long time. You've been shooting for a long time. You've been deployed, so you know what the shit's about. And you now back stateside. So kind of I'm trying to figure out, like, when are you too tactical? And I, that, that's like the issue that I had with my range bag that we were talking about. And, you know, you see molly webbing and I look at videos on YouTube. They got 15 tourniquets and 37 first aid packs, 17 mags, uh, a repair kit. Uh, I mean, like, how much is too much? And, and and what's the, can you help me understand, like, why, what's going through somebody's head that, that's got, like, the airsoft mask on to go pump gas at the Circle K? They got to protect themselves from the pandemic, man. Uh, but basically, man, uh, I call them gyrdos, you know, like mm-hmm. weirdos and self gear. They just gotta have all the latest Bowie knives and desert boots and all the, all mm-hmm. the other high speed stuff. Man, it just some of them may be in their little uh, militias. I guess that's what they are. Mm-hmm. And I get that why you're training, right? But if you're just gearing up to go check the damn mail, it's just it's just for show. <laughs> and honestly, a lot of times these cats got these these vests with all the the ammo pouches and grenade right. pouches and them shits ain't even got no plates in it. You ain't protecting nothing. Right. And then they, they got the military issue helmets and it's mm-hmm. just, a, oh, mm-hmm. that's cool. I can get that. I can look like a badass, but I'm not going to go to basic training and be a real badass. Whoops. Right. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Sorry if I offended somebody. Not really. Um, Man. Yeah. To me, they look stupid. 
Like, <laughs> like I said, they look they look stupid. I get it if mm-hmm. you're gonna have like a like let's take the vest. If you're gonna have like a little bulletproof vest, number one, mm-hmm. motherfucker, who's after you? If you ain't even got no beef and nobody, right. why? Ain't nobody looking for you. Right. This is stupid. But I mean, if you got a legitimate reason to wear like bo- sure. just basic body armor. If you want to walk around looking like 50, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I get that. But if you got on full IOTV kit that we fucking wear and we go over, mm-hmm. you got the, the gas mask to pump the gas like you were saying. You got your helmet on. You got like seven sights on your weapon. Why? I don't know. You must really can't fucking shoot. Right. You got right. the damn... You got on steel toe fucking boots. See, you done got mm. me going. You done got me damn going. Because she going, irritates man. the fuck out of me, man. Keep going. Then you Keep got them. You go to the surplus store and get the military issue fucking combat shirts. I know you probably see them. They look like long sleeve shirts, kind of like they kind of remind you of like uh, long johns a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they walk around with them shits, no rank on it. Just motherfucker, if you want to be us, just come on. They always accept it, but y'all little punk asses I sit back there and talk this. Oh, yeah, man, we go out in the woods and train, man. I, I'm here for urban warfare and all this other shit. Motherfucker, you can't even get in the police academy. Shut your dumb ass up. <laughs> um, <laughs> you did it. Dude. You did it. You did it. But these hey, girls, man, keep man, going. Keep going. It's, it's freaking, it's too much. I mean, you spend money mm. on it. I, I was talking to a person a couple months ago while we was back at home. Mm-hmm. Partner, I don't do nothing. He had the house all day. And don't do nothing at all. Yeah, my vest just came in the other day, and I got the. I'm gonna order the sappy plates too. For what? Why who though? Shoot, who's shooting at you? Who shoot, you got two what? friends, and that's it. Who's shooting at you? <laughs> like for real, man. I mean, it's just it's over oh, the man. top. I understand if we was really on some some revolution, civil war type shit happening. You get your hands on the gear, cool. Mm-hmm. But you wearing that shit to go vote. At the voting spot right next to the McDonald's. You wearing that shit to go vote and it's a damn mm-hmm. elementary school. Motherfucker, right. for what? You next to my dude in the leathers at Starbucks in line right. behind him, ordering in a mochiato or something. I think you that's know, a thing. It's just not military gear that do that shit in. You catch the lames that'll hop out of fucking soccer mom van holding a goddamn motorcycle helmet and they fucking motherfucker. We seen you get out there, man, bro. We seen you. The fuck you doing? Right. Like Right, it's it's right, right. it's unneedless flexing or like my kids say it, they they capping for no reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. I went I, mean, I went to the teenagers one time. Shout out for everybody that says capping and you over thirty. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> damn, right, I'm over right. thirty, bro. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, but yeah, but, man. So them fucking gear those, man. It's just stupid. But if y'all yeah, want to spend I, your money like that, that's y'all business. So like, so help me out now. So I get you know. Shit, shit goes south. You have it. Yep. And then at some points in time, you should train in it at some point mm-hmm. just so you, you're comfortable and, you know, you're not putting it on for the first time and, you know, shit goes sideways and you're like, oh, oh, how do I, how do I, you yeah. know, and, and the shit's on backwards and stuff. So yeah, I, I get that. If you ain't never ran in it, bitch, <laughs> <laughs> don't wait. <wear it>. Right. <laughs> that shit ain't fun so, either. I get it, but, you know, you all on the IG you know, perpetrating or yeah. you know, I see it on a lot of times on YouTube, man. They'll mm-hmm. talk about like, you know, like last week we talked about carrying everywhere. Yeah. And they'll talk about what they carry. And they're like, Yeah, I got a Glock nineteen on me and then I carry a, a Glock forty three in my backpack and I got this and you know I break down my AR to go in this backpack and where well, the fuck are you going? Yeah. And for and for one <laughs> They doing that shit for likes, cause I'll be goddamn if I tell anybody everything I got in my house. Right, and that, and that's kind of what I was thinking too. They're doing that is, shit for likes. Right, right, right. I mean, I, I will never ever disclose everything that's going on around mm-hmm. these parts, but you can't be in full amazing. fucking gear doing this shit like here, shit. Right. You know what I'm saying you can't be doing that shit. And I be wanting to know where in the hell do they work? Because I price it because I'm curious. FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> they work at fucking FedEx. That's what they're at. <laughs> Goddamn FedEx. Oh, man. Oh, man. Shout out to FedEx, though. Our little brother works at FedEx. Oh, yeah. 
and he's doing, or is it UPS? It's one of them. Hey, he I'm doing the thing. I, I got all my packages on time, so y'all good right, with me? Right, right, right. So, <laughs> but man, I was just wondering if I wasn't crazy, man. No, nah, man, freaking gear. I, I was man. wondering if you know, do I do I grow up and and that becomes me? You know, once I buy my first AR, does it eventually come with a plate carrier? I mean. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 all for training and being proficient, yeah. but like you know, you see, like I got 15 tactical belts, and mm-hmm. I got a tactical belt that connects to a tactical vest, and I, I saw this shit that's in a uh, uh, 511 cells, and it's like this net stuff that goes on the back seat of your car, mm-hmm. and you so, can like I forgot the, what it's called the, the webbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can like hook different pouches, and mm-hmm. you know they have like the 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 AR clip uh, rack, and you so you can have like magazines and shotgun shells, and they must be going to the Walmart on Dennis Bridge Road or something. <laughs> 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 but man, I just I, I don't understand it. And based on talking to you, it's still weird. Is is what you're telling me? Yeah, that's why we call them Geardos. Okay. So hey, if you you wearing it out there, kind of help us out. Yeah, school us. You Put, know, leave let a me message, know if it's something I'm missing. Something. It, but if I offend you, please don't come down here in like a, a wedge or a line formation, um, or nothing like that. Cause uh, mm-hmm. I do this. But but seriously, right. guys, don't don't waste the money. I mean, if you got the money to waste, like if you're you just making money out of control and you just want to get it because mm. the shit looks cool or you want to cosplay as a fucking G.I. Joe or some shit? Right. Yeah, you That's go right what it ahead. feels like. You go ahead. I mean, you go to, ahead. But if you really, me, really want to wear that shit, yeah. just join the military, man. Come on. Right. To me, if you got the money for that, you should be well trained. Like, yeah. Like, tell me you've had all the training you can stand before you do all that. Mm-hmm. I mean, what, what are you doing? You, you, you doing, you know, drills in your garage? Yeah, and I, know, I do know I mean, some guys that be out there legit training because they tried to get me to come aboard and do some training with them one time mm. and i was at the range i'm like no no sir i got clearances and shit get the fuck out my face <laughs> right man okay so so thanks for for shedding light on oh, yeah. for me no doubt no doubt, I, no doubt. I, I always like the learning and, and hearing your perspective on that kind of stuff yeah that's it that i was, was i was <laughs> looking <laughs> that shit five years right, right. Right. I, I was just so, when I talked to you about it, I was so confused, man. I was just looking like, am, am I missing something? Other ones I get that I'm going to leave it alone, I'm done. The ones I get that are tactical up and they're civilians, if you a vet, and I mean, because some of them had an issue where they're comfortable like that. You know sure, what I'm saying? Sure, sure. I can understand that. Now I that I that. get. If they walk That's around like different. that, you know what I'm saying? I get it. But you, if you a civilian and the only kind of gear you ever had is fucking... When you change the skins on Fortnite or Call of Duty or some shit, sit your ass. Ah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, man. I'm done. I'm done. That's all I got. Oh, go on, man. I, I, nope, I'm enjoying nope, this. Nope, this. This nope. is entertaining, man. That's it. That's you, it. You sound like you uh, struck a nerve there, man. Yeah, a little bit. And I'm going to stop.